Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and I have something really, really cool for you today. So this is the HT011A transmitter. You've seen this before. This is my Hubson uh, H501A Wi-Fi FPV drone, but this is a new transmitter that's been designed to go with it. Actually, it's been designed to go with any of the Hubson quadcopters that use the X Hubson app. Let's go over it and uh, discuss what it can do. Uh, first off, you know, right now, you know, the Hobson H501A didn't have a controller. Now you have a controller that will work with a drone so you can fly it with the sticks using 2.4 gigahertz, if you wish. However, that's not the main feature. When you're using 2.4 gigahertz, um, the ability to use the, uh, um, you can use the X Hubson app, you know, it doesn't work very well because they both operate on 2.4 gigahertz. So this would be for line of sight flying if you're flying with, uh, 2.4 gigahertz. You can still record video and photos directly to the SD card on the H501A and um, do the other features that this has, which is orbiting and follow me. I'm going to discuss that here shortly. But again, you would not be viewing it through FPV. You have to use the X-Hubson app, and I'll go into that in a bit. Now, this has built into it a GPS, okay? Uh, it has its own GPS system in here, so that allows it for to use uh, orbiting and follow me uh, if you're you, without using the X Hubson app, okay. Currently, if you use the X Hubson app for uh, orbiting and follow me with the H501A, uh, the accuracy of that depends on the accuracy of the GPS on your phone, which not, might not be very accurate. This one is, it has a very accurate GPS system in it, a very uh, quick rapid lock on. So, uh, I recommend trying it out if you haven't tried it when you if you get one of these uh, using its own built-in GPS. Now another thing that this has in it built into it is a Wi-Fi repeater amplifier. Okay, what does that mean? That means you know right if you're using your phone to control the um, drone alone, that depend you know the distance that you could fly depends on uh, the system that's built into your phone. You know how. What's the transmission power of your phone's um, uh, Wi-Fi system? Okay, most phones don't have a very high transmission power. What this does is you connect your phone to this controller, to the repeater in this controller, and the repeater in this controller amplifies that signal, that Wi-Fi signal, and transmits it to the drone. What that means is you've got a lot more range <laughs> using this controller than you would using your phone alone, okay? So you can fly very distant using this controller. Additionally, it's it has a very good antenna system built into it. Now, you have to aim it, though, then point it at the drone like so, keeping the flat face pointed toward the drone uh, off in the distance. But that will enable you to receive FPV uh, video much farther than just using your phone alone, okay? So um, rather than continue on talking, let's, let's go into the flight of this thing and show up how it works. So hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I got a quite a bit of a wind today, but we're still gonna fly it since this is a GPS quadcopter. But um, the way I hooked this up, folks, you first turn on the controller, and then you connect your uh, phone's Wi-Fi to the controller. Uh, this Wi-Fi signal will say HT011A. So you connect to that, and uh, if, you haven't connected to the uh, drone before, what you need to do is, I'll, I'll show you here shortly, but you go into the settings and connect the um, phone or the controller to the drone through the uh, X Hubson app. Now, the, since I've got this connected already, uh, it's telling me to do the compass calibration dance. Let's get that out of the way real quick. As usual with all Hubsons, you do this first before every flight to make sure that your compass is calibrated. And that's to minimize the chance of getting jello effect, or not jello effect, uh, toilet bowl effect on your flight. And I think that's completed. And then it does a GPS accuracy test. Now, for this, I believe it's checking the GPS of this, uh, the accuracy of the GPS of this controller. Right now, I, I have good ac GPS accuracy since I got a blue light there. And uh, the UAV GPS is good also because I got a blue light there. So the drone's GPS is all set up. And the Wi Fi relay is set up since I got a blue light of that. So we're going to bind the aircraft to the current device, do the GPS accuracy test. 
and again it should be good and it is good now again I'm going to show you real quick in the menu hitting the upper right corner and selecting a relay and then scrolling upward and it's a setup the relay connection to the aircraft I've done this already so I don't think it's going to show up in the list but we'll see if the drone it does show up in the list so I'm going to click on the drone and what that's going to do is the controller relay will connect to the drone I'm reconnecting actually Wi-Fi setup success and this is not the first time I've used it so we don't need to do that so I'm backing out of this menu so again the way this is working okay I'm checking the Wi-Fi oh it's working 2.4 gigahertz okay and there we go we got rip Wi-Fi relay connection and the way you confirm that always before taking off make sure that that blue light for Wi-Fi is solid if the light for 2.4 gigahertz is solid that means you're not controlling it via the relay you're controlling it via the 2.4 gigahertz of the controller but again we are controlling it via the Wi-Fi relay since we got solid blue light and actually we are ready to go so first thing I want to do is get this into the air and we'll do that with uh, I believe I can do it with a controller if I'm not mistaken I think it does an automatic takeoff and it does so be aware when you're using the controller through the app and you start it up it will do an automatic take up takeoff by down and out okay so don't do this indoors folks <laughs> so we're gonna check the accuracy of the GPS right now looks to be good so the next thing I want to do is follow me we'll go up a little bit higher and let's start the uh, video recording switching the video camera and saying before we do anything else how you like my shirt today folks nice colors huh <laughs> so you can see me out here in the desert and we'll go up a little bit higher right about there and I'm going to press the follow me on the controller quick press and let's see if it's actually following me I'm going to the left maybe it's a long press I need to do hold on <laughs> pressing long press yeah there we go and a quick press does that stop it okay <laughs> one more time long press starts it going up a bit higher long press starts it and short press stops it so it's doing follow me right now I'm looking at myself as I'm walking through the desert and it's pretty darn accurate follow me if I remember correctly and it can do it at low altitude a lot of things can't do it low altitude like this but that's the follow me ability of this it's using the GPS system built into uh, this particular uh, transmitter which is somewhat of an accurate GPS <laughs> okay okay that's enough of a follow me let's go up a bit higher let's exit follow me quick press and let's try the orbit pressing the orbit actually I'm gonna go up a bit higher more right there and then pressing the orbit function on the transmitter and is that also need a long, prolonged press maybe it does hold on let's do it again long press and there we go so it's a long press you got to do now what it does is orbit the position of where you were when you press that button okay so if I start walking away from this uh, this that's going to continue to orbit this position where I'm at right now so it does have orbit me now it's not using the GPS on the phone for this orbit me it's using the GPS of this controller but again it does not uh, change if you walk away let's walk over here and you'll see that it will continue to orbit except it's orbiting that position where I was standing hello there <laughs> so we'll let it we'll stop it right there see if quick press stops it quick press does stop it okay uh, let me stop that video we're gonna start the video up again and this time we're gonna go see how far away we can fly 
And how much battery? I got 68% battery. That should be, I'll go out until I hit about 50. Or a little bit less. And going up higher. Now notice how I'm holding the transmitter. I'm put, pointing it at the flat face of the back of the transmitter toward the drone. And the reason being, that's where the relay's antenna is. It's pointed from the back face of the transmitter. So going up, and I'm going to go up higher. I'm going to go up to about 100 meters up. Also for, to improve reception. Okay, we're 95 meters out. And hold on, folks. Let me put my glasses to while we're doing this. Reason being, I want to see how far I can actually see this drone while we're going up on. And pushing forward, going up higher. 135 meters out. Let's go up higher. And again, pointing the flat face toward the drone. Going up higher. And we're 225 meters out. 60 meters up. Let's go up a little bit higher. 270 meters out. Seemed to lost FPV reception there for a bit. Oh, there we got it back again. Let me pitch it down a bit. I'm not pitching as, as high as I was. 320 meters out. I'm probably over here. I'm focusing on uh, <laughs> maintaining my antenna. Okay, I lost it a bit there. 350 meters. <clears throat> How does it look? We'll go out a little further and higher too. Three hundred eighty meters, three ninety, and ninety-seven meters. I'm going to stop the altitude climb there. Four hundred twenty-five meters out. Still have good reception. Going even further. Four hundred forty-four meters out. Four fifty. Four sixty, and it's getting choppy out there at that distance, but it still has reception. I'm going to turn to the left a bit too. I want to go to the other side of that road. So I can know if we do lose it, I know where it's going to end up. 511 meters out. Okay, see if I can help aim the antenna a little bit better. Because I know we're on the left side of the road. Going a little further. 544 meters, 550. Let's see if I can make it to 600, or actually I want to see if I can make it to that road there. Can I make it to that road? It's getting iffy there at about 572 meters. 588, 596, 600 meters, 632, and I've 650 meters. I've lost FPV, but it's still trying to go out. I'm trying to aim the antenna a little bit better, but I think that's about it, folks. Um, let's see if I can do a return to home from there. Oop, got a little bit of reception there. Okay, I got reception. Let's press that return to home button from 661 meters. So that's a pretty darn good distance. Okay, I hit return to home. It's activating return to home. That's that's actually pretty darn good for uh, Wi-Fi <laughs> control. Okay, using this relay, 660, 626 meters. It's coming back now. So I was out 661 meters away, which is which is not too shabby. So good, you know, this is pretty neat. I think Hubson's going to be selling this at a reasonable price too for those of you that have already purchased an H501A or an H501M. Um, I think you can purchase this as, a, as an option uh, in the near future, if it's not already when you're, view, you're viewing this video. Uh, and if they keep it reasonably priced, you know, under, uh, well, I'm not going to say a price, but if they could re keep it reasonably priced so that most people can afford it, this could be a big seller. And again, this will probably be bundled with uh, the H501A. Uh, in the future, I would recommend getting the bundle with this transmitter. You'll like it because it is pretty darn cool what it can do. Now, um, if I lose reception, or if, I mean, if the app crashes 
while I'm using this. I forgot to mention this. If the app crashes while I'm using uh, this controller, it automatically switches to 2.4 gigahertz control of the drone uh, using the controller. So uh, that's a neat feature too to be able to do that. So where are we at? 270, 254 meters at. Boy, I was out there, wasn't I? <laughs> Let's see where it lands. Let's see if it actually lands at its, its uh, where it took off from. I'm not sure where it's going to land when it gets back here. Our 91 meters at. Oh, I see us. I see our car. We're pretty darn high up there at 100 meters. <laughs> it's, I'm starting to look for it now. I can starting to hear a buzz up in the sky. Don't see it though. Oh, oh, there it is. Put my glasses on. There, oh, it's way up there at 100 meters. <laughs> I forgot how tiny things are at 100 meters up. 100 meters is a lot of altitude, 400 feet or 328 feet. But it's up there. Now it's coming down. So it looks like it's going to try to land at its landing pad. So watch it come back down. And 87 meters up. 82, coming back down. And we still got plenty of flight power, but I'm not going to run this until I'm out of flight power. I just wanted to show you the, the main two features of this. Now, again, you can still use the other features of the X Hubsit app, like uh, Waypoint. If you want to fly it, you know, using the app itself, you can uh, while connected through the relay. You don't have to use the controller. So if you want to try um, Waypoint flying in particular, uh, you can while connect it with this app and what that'll do for you you know you can monitor uh, the view the FPV view from the quadcopter at much greater distance and send this quadcopter out you know much greater distance uh, using this controller using the waypoint feature so and holy moly <laughs> that is dang accurate after that long flight look at that that's about exactly where it took off from, ain't it? Wow. Uh, okay. You can turn off now. <laughs> down and out. Down and out shuts it off. Okay, so that's the HT-011A. Let me, let me stop that video before I forget. Before I shut off the quadcopter. <laughs> I don't want to lose that video. But the HT-011A, uh, first look at it. It is a very capable transmitter. Uh, hopefully, again, if when Hubson releases this, I hope it's released at a reasonable price level because it's pretty dang neat what it can do. So, hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101. Signing out.